gems welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video today we're talking about endometriosis this is this is one of the many common womb diseases that women experience on a daily basis let's get right into it what is endometriosis so endometriosis is the growth of the endometrial tissues in places other than the uterus this growth can occur in the fallopian tube on the ovaries on the intestines etc the endometrial tissues develop invasive cells so naturally the endometrial cell lining bleeds monthly in the uterus however when it grows on other in other places such as the ovaries and fallopian tubes etc it causes internal bleeding which then causes inflammation scar tissue adhesion and severe pain so what's the root cause of this because there's always a root cause in short i'll say hormonal imbalance most womb diseases occur due to a hormonal imbalance in the body but for endometriosis it's specifically high estrogen and low progesterone so let's get into some statistics 60% of women struggling with infertility has endometriosis. 75% of all endometriosis cases affects women, be women between their 20s and 40s, mid 40s. And then there's a lot of women out there who don't have any symptoms, so they go undiagnosed and they don't know why they're having issues, they don't know why they can't get pregnant, etc. But it's because they're not even diagnosed. Let's get into solutions because we're all about solutions here. Let's get into the healing aspect. So when healing any womb disease from a holistic standpoint, it is important to make lifestyle changes. And this is the part that gets women every time because I guess it's the hard part. Making lifestyle changes, they can't be consistent with the lifestyle changes. But when it comes to um, your daily routine, what you eat, how you think, what you do to practice self-care, or if you're not practicing self-care, all of those has to do with your lifestyle changes that you have to look into. The herbs will then support your body in doing what it is naturally designed to do. So you have lifestyle changes you need to implement, you have the herbs that you need to implement, and then you have your thinking, you know? and your other holistic practices, your other health, um, your other therapeutic practices you can implement. So here's what you can do today. If you're watching this and you was diagnosed with endometriosis or you think you have endometriosis, um, here's what you can do today to start healing yourself. One, first and foremost, you gotta change how you eat, okay? Y'all don't like to hear this, but you have to change how you eat. You can't get away from it. You can't get around it. You have to change what you eat. Eat more whole foods. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Get rid of all the processed foods, all the junk foods, all the sugary drinks and caffeine. That's only going to make your situation worse. Secondly, I do offer a tea for endometriosis. It's called End Endometriosis, and you can drink this tea three times a day, every day, for a minimum of three months. You are most likely going to see um, changes way before that if you're being consistent, but I always recommend three months, three to six months when actually healing a issue. So the tea is designed to help ease the pain that you're experiencing with the endometriosis and also help balance your hormone, which is the root cause of the endometriosis. If, and this is only if, if you're not taking that extra step to actually change your lifestyle, diet, or whatever, at the bare minimum, I recommend that you eliminate all red meat from your diet, from your eating. Next, you can yoni steam. Start with a seven day yoni steam and then create a yoni steam schedule for yourself. So two options of a yoni steam schedule, one time a week or three days before your menstrual cycle begin and three days after your menstrual. Let me repeat that. Three days before the flow days of your menstrual cycle and three days after the flow days end. So a lot of times we, this is, that's a topic for another video, but you have your menstrual cycle, your moon cycle, and then within your moon cycle, you have the days that you're actually bleeding. That's your flow days. So 
you want to steam three days before your flow days begin and three days after your flow day end or you could steam once a week and that's after you do an initial seven day steam meaning you steam every day consistently for consecutively for seven days next you can do womb massages self womb massages daily this can help clear the scar tissue this can help clear the scar tissue and adhesions increase circulation and enhance blood flow to the womb and loosen up tight muscle next try acupuncture acupuncture is known to ease the pain in the pelvis and abdomen and shrink the size of the lesions caused by the endometriosis lastly you can do castor oil packs so i re I recommend doing castor oil packs three to four times a week for 30 to 45 minutes. This also can increase circulation. It can decrease inflammation and soften old endometrium tissues, which will help remove it from your body. So those list of stuff is all you can do to start healing yourself of endometriosis and living a more ease, living a more easeful pain-free life and not have to struggle with the discomforts and the pain that comes along with endometriosis and also if you're struggling with, endo with infertility due to endometriosis once you heal that guess what baby is coming yeah so for your womb massages i do offer a womb massage oil on my website that is infused with herbs and essential oils that helps that enhances the benefits of doing the womb massages so I have a healing a sacred womb healing womb oil and a sacred womb warming womb oil I recommend the healing oil for this and I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere just so that you guys can see how it look and you can find that on my website at gemsolistic.com and if you subscribe to our newsletter, you can get 10% off your first order. Also, the end endometriosis tea is also available on the website. And um, what else? Yoni steams are also available on the website. So you have three things that you can get right now to help you start healing your endometriosis. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Go ahead. Click the link in the description box go get it if you don't get it from me cool but get something from somebody some type of herbs get it implement it into your life and be consistent you cannot get results without consistency in everything you do in life you're not going to get results if you're not being consistent this is not a quick fix this is holistic healing okay we're not putting a band-aid in on top of a broken arm we're healing the root cause so that we can live our fullest most peaceful most joyful life okay anyways that is all for this video to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you will see me in my next video peace oh, no,